Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I wanted to share with you um, the January of 2017 paper pumpkin kit and this kit is called Adoring Arrows. So if you are new to paper pumpkin, it is a uh, monthly kit that gets delivered to your mailbox in this uh, cute little orange box. All the supplies that are required to complete the project are included in this box. So it is a great value. Um, the price is $19.95 and that includes your shipping. Um, so you can choose to do this on a month by month by month basis. You can do it for the year, six months, three months, however you'd like. Um, but it is a great project for you to do if you're looking um, to craft but don't have a lot of time and you want to do something quickly. Uh, this is great. If you're looking to do something with a grandchild or a niece um, or your daughters, um, this is also a great, great project um, kit for those kind of situations as, as well. I have a lot of customers that are using them in that way um, currently. So just keep that in mind. I will put up a link in the description of this video um, for you to order. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, but let's go ahead and show you all of the supplies. So in the paper pumpkin kit you will receive a color brochure or flyer that shows you the project It'll tell you um, what month it is, the name. It'll also tell you how many um, supplies are in here. So sometimes the kits are cards, and every so often they'll throw in um, a different kind of project. So we've had little favor bags. This month they're um, kind of a treat bag for Valentine's. Um, so it says here this kit contains the supplies for 24 treat bags, which is a lot. I mean, it's great. It's super cute. Um, so in this uh, flyer, you will see it does have step-by-step -step instructions, excuse me, um, showing you how to complete the project. You can do the project as described in the instructions, or you can do it however you'd like. It's completely up to you. Um, I know there's a lot of people doing alternatives with some of the kits, and that is totally fine. Um, so you will always get a Stampin' Spot, which is a small version of one of our ink colors. This month it is Calypso Coral. Uh, it looks like we got some gold thread in this kit. Here is our stamp set for this month. And these stamp sets are exclusive to Paper Pumpkin, so you cannot purchase these um, anywhere else in our catalogs. Um, they do come specifically with the set, and then they're yours to keep. Um, so that is great also. So this one you can tell has some different uh, images as well as sentiments, which is fun. It looks like we have some toothpicks, kind of, toothpick kind of thing. You got a whole sheet of dimensionals and a whole sheet of glue dots. It looks like here are our 24 treat bags, which um, have like a gold foil look to them. Here are some hearts. These are already pre-cut. We have some gold foil stickers to make our arrow. Here are some banners that are also lined in gold. This must be, yeah, this must be the other half of our, our arrow, our stick, so I'll set that over there. And then this month it looks like we have some vellum banners, which is cool and then some more heart stickers. So as you can see, plenty, plenty of supplies. And typically you even have something left over. Um, that's usually not surprising. Um, you'll have your stamp set to keep, but you'll also have extra extras left. All right, um, so I have not done one of these yet, so we're gonna do it together. So I'm just gonna do one per um, the flyer or the instructions. I am gonna grab my own ink pad I like to keep the Stampin' Spots um, to include as gifts for people or my team members. That's always fun. Okay, so let me grab myself a block. In your first kit um, that you order for Paper Pumpkin, you will receive an acrylic block in that kit, and then moving forward you will not. So you can just use that block each time. Um, so we are going to, I think we'll just use this, this love one here. 
I like this this one. So I am going to put that on my block. Okay. And then I'm going to grab one of these. Actually, I think I'll stamp it while it's still in this um, paper. Let me open my Calypso Coral. I'm going to ink this up real well. Okay. And then because it is photopolymer, we can see where we're stamping. So let me pull this down. Hopefully I'm still in camera. And I am going to try to line that up. Give that a nice press. Very good. Alright. Let me close that so I don't get my hands in it. Alright. And then we're going to pop this out. I can tell already this is still pretty pretty wet. So we'll let that dry. Okay, we're going to take one of our sticks. I guess we would call these wooden dowels, but one side is pointy so it reminded me of a toothpick. <laughs> Alright, so we'll grab one of those out. Alright, let me see. I'm going to take one of these double hearted stickers. And it says, add the, the gold double heart sticker to the pointed end. So we are going to do that. Just like that. I'm going to roll, roll that over. I didn't line that up as nicely as I'd like. Okay, now we will grab one of our tail stickers. It looks like they have it placed right in the center of the arrow, so we will do that as well. Okay, that will give that a little squeeze. I'm not liking my heart here. Let me let me open this. Yeah, I should have placed it. Let me see. This way. See what happens when you're not really looking at the directions and you should be? There we go. Now our heart looks good. Now we've got a cute little arrow. Isn't that fun? Alright, now let's take our banners. So I'm going to take one of one of the vellum banners and I'm going to use one of the regular banners. Okay. So we're going to adhere this vellum banner to our other one. We're going to want to use the glue dots to do that. So we're going to put the glue dots on the colored part of the vellum because for those of you that have used vellum before, um, it will show adhesive. So let me get my little piercer. I'm going to grab my, my glue dots. few of these on here. So nice about these paper pumpkin kits is they're pretty quick. So, um, you know, if you're on a roll and moving fast and doing your own thing, you can probably get them done in about 30 minutes um, or less. Okay. All right. So they want to put a, a few dimensionals on the back of our heart. So I will... Grab those two. I'm going to use three of those. And then we're going to open up our thread. This is like the longest part for me, it's just opening these little baggies. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one. Some days things just don't come as easily. 
for you as they should. All right. Let me see. There's a little piece of tape on here. I'm going to set that to the side so I can tape this again. All right. So I'm going to wrap a little bit. of thread and I'm going to take the backing off of my hearts okay so I'm just gonna kinda put that all around here the back of our heart and then we are going to adhere that to our banner it looks like they have it kind of going off offset a bit okay and then we are ready to do our treat bag so you can see these are already pre-scored for us so I think oops I have two here let me go ahead and do my creasing these are super cute I need to go get little Valentine treats to fill these my kids are are gonna go wild for these as they still are still have a one more year um, for giving away Valentine's okay so let me see this looks like it is the bottom okay, I think that's the easiest way is to lay your lay it down flat take off this piece of adhesive and then line it up and then we will go ahead and close this one peel that adhesive okay and then I'm going to use my bone folder and just give that a nice press and then this is where we can put our heart behind there these are so cute so cute so all you have to do is put your little um, arrow behind this is where we can add um, a few more glue dots and we can line this up on the front of our treat bag I don't want to seal mine yet because I need to put in my treat but you can add another little glue dot um, to the back uh, just to hold that so that makes our little goodie bag super fun very cute very cute I would definitely use these for my kids I would use these for co-workers they wouldn't be expecting a little Valentine's Day treat and it just makes it fun um, so again if you would like to subscribe to paper pumpkin please see my link in the description of this video um, currently because we are in celebration you can um, purchase a three-month prepaid subscription to paper pumpkin and that will qualify you for one free celebration item um, so that is super cool um, so if you guys do have any questions please let me know I love to hear from you guys and I look forward to being back with you real soon thanks for watching bye bye